Rosie Perez has been entertaining us for more than 30 years from her breakthrough role in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing mm -hmm. to White Men Can't Jump and more recently, The Flight Attendant. Well, now Rosie's joined season two of the hit TV series, Your Honor. Rosie, we're so happy that you're here. I love the, first of all, I love the story about how you get a call. <laughs> from Brian Cranston, hey look, we want you to do this show. You're like, cool. And then he's like, and we need you in how many days? How many days did you have to prep for this role? Two. Two so, days. Two days. So how did you do, how does someone do that? <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> um, I, I called, I have a lot of law enforcement friends and I have family members who are in law enforcement. I know a couple of assistant DAs and I just kept up with specifically one and I kept on the phone with her. And since I know her too, the one thing that really stuck out to me is that this uber sense of confidence yeah, yeah. that she has the law on her side, yeah. she's done her homework, and when she walks into the room, she's completely confident, you know? And also it's that, you know, if somebody breaks the law, they break the law. Yeah, that's and it. So, and that's yeah. it. There was no sympathy for Brian uh, Cranston's character. So I had to go in with that. So it was scary. So you have the attitude, yeah. but to learn yeah, all Yeah, to the learn lines. the lines. And it wasn't fair because if you watch it, right, I have like these mini stretches of monologue. <laughs> and in between them, Brian's like, well, I don't agree. <laughs> What? You're like, whoa. This How is you So what did you do? Like, was it like being back in 10th grade cramming for a test? Yes. And it was like, I'm on the plane on, on the way, and I'm saying my lines, you know? And I go, well, that's no way to start a conversation. The flight is going, excuse me. I go, no, no, no. I'm, it's I'm not doing, you. It's I'm not you. It. Yeah. And it, it, it was, ooh, I was nervous. I was a nervous cat when I was going in. And then when we completed the first scene, Brian was so sweet because he was very serious in character mm -hmm, and everything. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they yelled, cut, that's a print, he went, you did it! <laughs> oh my God, I was so nervous. He goes, we all, no! <laughs> you know what's and, cool about you? You're, you've done everything in our industry, in this industry, and you're, you're nervous still yeah. on, on the set. Yeah, does that ever go away or is that just no. part of what makes you work? It, it never goes away. Yeah. I've been waiting for it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> and then my good friend George Seawolf, you yeah. know George, mm -hmm. and he was like, honey, if you're not nervous, you're not doing it right, embrace it. It's part of the process. And, you know, and I was like, oh, he goes, anxiety is not good. Nervous, Nervous it's is good. Yeah, because yeah. it, it still shows how much you care mm -hmm. about your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, we actually um, found mm -hmm. a video of you. You started mm -hmm. in dance yeah. uh, and choreography. Mm -hmm. You're an incredible mm -hmm. dancer. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Um, I hope we, I'm like, <laughs> we have this. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Wait. <laughs> Wait, girl, oh where are God. you? What's happening here? Is this oh Soul God. Train? I should have had a stronger bra. <laughs> <laughs> This moment, what Whoa, was happening oh my there? God, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, I didn't really understand <laughs> that millions of people were going to be watching, <laughs> you know. And at that time, I was still a virgin. Isn't that sad? <laughs> you know, so I didn't understand my sexuality. So I thought being sexy was like. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's yeah. So, so <laughs> I love that. Was dance your first love? Was that the thing you loved before acting? Uh, I love dance always. Yeah. Uh, my aunt told me that I was dancing in the crib, and that mm -hmm. like she said, when I was one years old, um, at I had a inner time clock at three o'clock. I knew um, uh, that mm -hmm. my cousins were going to come home and yeah. they, we had a record player and and uh, I would just start screaming and I demanded that they put on Sam and Dave. I'm a soul man. And she said I would hold on one hand to the crib and rock with my thumb. Rock. Like that, you know, and, and, and when the record would stop, I just would start screaming again. Until it came back on. Until it came back on. Speaking of your aunt, mm -hmm. um, I read a, a little bit about mm -hmm. your life. You moved quite a lot. You mm -hmm. were in and out of some foster mm -hmm. homes, but like your aunt's house, it yeah. was just pure love and mm -hmm. happiness. Mm -hmm. And you didn't even realize you were needing of anything mm -hmm. because you had love. Yeah, I mean, one day my, my uh, one of my cousins came home and she was like, mommy, I'm so, I'm so mad. And she said, what happened? She goes, these kids said that we're poor. And I went, we're poor? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. 
I had no idea because there was so much love in that house. And I thought that we had money because we had a big television mm -hmm. and we had a record player. Mm -hmm. That's it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but to us, you know, there was other people in the neighborhood who didn't even have that. So yeah. I thought that we were well off. Was your aunt the one who believed when she saw you? Was she the one who, said, who thought you could do it? Yes, 100%. How did she tell you that? Um, well, first of all, she told me I was special every single moment. Mm. Um, and she loved the heck out of me. And that's the mm. best thing that you can do for a child. Mm. Um, and so, but when I told her that I wanted to leave school and, and try this acting stuff, first she was scared. She was like, really, you're going to leave your job? I go, I think I could do it. And she goes, me too. <gasps> yeah. And then it was my dad. My dad had no hesitation. I said, Daddy, you think I could do this? He goes, please, yes, go ahead, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and, and, and yeah. What did they think, yeah, did yeah. they get to see your success and what did they think of it? Yes, yeah, they, it was great. My father was a little bit overboard. He used to yeah. carry a folded eight by 10. <laughs> 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 we went to the air, uh, airport one day, and you know, when you're supposed to hand in your, your ID, he hands the eight by 10, the woman goes, excuse me, he goes, that's who I am, mom, her father. <laughs> And so it was really sweet. God rest their souls. They were, they were just wonderful. And that's what made the difference from having such a turbulent, bittersweet childhood. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not bitter today, because I had that love, because mm. I had that support. Oh. By the way, that is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Don't okay, go anywhere. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. We have a lot more. Yeah. We're back with Rosie Perez, who's starring in season two of Your Honor. So we thought we're going to put her on the bench for our own little courthouse game. It's called <gasps> All, All Rise, Rise for Judge Rosie. Rosie. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, and Your Honor, by the way, is an incredible show. Yeah. It was the most watched yes. debut on Showtime ever, yeah. even though we're playing this game. So okay. <laughs> we're going to throw you a topic, all right? And then you're going to tell us your thoughts on the matter whenever you're ready. All right. And when you're ready, just hit that gavel. A final and go. ruling. Okay, here's the first one The return of low rise jeans. What's your argument for or against? Against. Okay, and how come? <laughs> how come? What, what's the why? Because if you have a little bit of a muffin, it's gonna <laughs> flap over. It's just not, you know, everybody does it. You're not all supposed to wear it, you know? Good. It's a privilege, not a right. So <laughs> Okay. Oh, my God, you should be a judge. Yes. Okay. okay. As a born and bred New Yorker, eating pizza with a fork and a knife, are you for or against? Against. <laughs> Tell okay. us why. Why? Because it's all about the fold, so you can let the oil drip. The and fold then you, is... in the fold, you get the whole experience going. Yeah, and what do you think about people who cut it with a fork and knife? They're not from New York. <laughs> They're not, they're not from here. Yeah. All right. Now, here, you were nominated for your Emmy role in The Flight Attendant. So, based on that, window or aisle? Oh, window. <gasps> really? Yeah. Tell us why. So you can look out, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, yeah. and then you don't have people bumping you while they're going uh, past the aisle. I just feel bad for the person who's sitting in the aisle seat because every time you have to go to the bathroom, yeah, you have to get, to get up. They get and up. I feel bad for them. You know but, what, Rosie? I agree with you and Hoda and I differ on that subject matter. I'm an aisle so thank person because I get up about 10 times. So uh, I need the aisle. I need to, okay. okay. I do too at this point in my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? okay. By the way, can we, before we go on, can we just comment on how all these awesome women of a certain age are nailing it. They're getting all the awards. We were talking about Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah. Talking about Jennifer Coolidge. Jean we're Smart. Jean Smart. It's like you. everybody's rocking it. It's hot. What does it yeah. feel like in this time of mm -hmm. your career to be yeah. killing it the way you are oh. and to watch these women do yeah. it too? I'm just so appreciative, you know, yeah. because when I first began my career, they all kept telling me, you know, when you're hit 40, you know, yeah. be prepared. It might yeah. be over. And I was like, who oh, says you? You know? <laughs> but, but, you know, now there's a, a whole new way of thinking in Hollywood where there they're is. opening the door and understanding, don't put us on the shelf. We have so much more to give. Yeah. So and that's happening. And Shirley Ralph, oh my God, I cried. Did you cry? I cried when she won. When that Wasn't that the best speech? Yes. This yeah. is what believing looks like. Yeah. Remember? Okay. Oh, I keep quoting her. All right, so we're more than yep. half the way through January. What are your thoughts on people still saying Happy New Year? Happy New Year, Rosie. Happy New Year, still halfway through the month. It's okay. Oh, this? <laughs> Why is it okay? Because sometimes you don't see somebody until <laughs> oh, two, yeah. three weeks later. Yeah. So the first time you see somebody, I think you should say Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy why New Year. not? No why matter not? when. Okay. But I'm now, terrible because I still have my tree up. Oh, I know. Wait, wait, what did you say? It just looks so pretty. Okay, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree just went down. Oh, did they take oh. it down? It just went down, like, over the weekend. 
Hoda usually, still, usually leaves I hers up till note. Valentine's. I usually do if it's artificial. But when, is yours artificial or real? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can stay up forever. All right, lastly, what do you say about bringing back the Soul Train line? Let's do it. Let's yes, do it. Let's do it. Now how we need that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my it was God. fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking we were going to show your video just one more time. Oh, come yeah. on, do I like it. How like, is this do one it. sexy is right <laughs> here? I love it. By Rosie. the way, I still dance yeah. like that. <laughs> Rosie, thank you so much. We love you. We're happy you came. You can catch Rosie on Your Honor. It's Fridays Oof. on Showtime and streaming on demand. I can't wait.